Normalcy was written by Jack Ike. You can find it on the SCP Wiki and a link in the description below. It is under a Creative Commons Sharealike Attribution License, and it is in the No Return canon. Everyone in the room is talking about the election. Most agree it was a mess from start to finish. The editor says both candidates had problems that concerned them. The lesser of two evils is a repeating phrase. Nobody has said which one is the president-elect. The sky outside the building is sky blue and empty. A few cars drive past on the street. A group of pedestrians are wearing oversized hats. Some of the people walking past stare at them. A man sits at a corner with a sign asking for money. Edward is staring at the page on his screen. It's a story that he's been writing for years now. He doesn't feel any closer to finishing it than when he started. He doesn't feel satisfied by the progress he makes. He doesn't enjoy writing anymore. He's only working on it because he feels worse when he doesn't. He hasn't made any progress today. He will try again tomorrow. Everyone in the room is talking about Vanguard. Most agree it felt like a hoax at first. The editor talks about the new lighthouse nearby. Citizen says they met a talking dog that works there. Nobody has noticed the owner is happier lately. The sky outside the building is sky blue and empty. A few cars drive past on the street. A taxi honks at a jaywalker. Some of the people walking past stare at them. A man sits at a corner with a sign accusing the foundation. Edward is staring at the page on his screen. It's a different page with different words. He doesn't feel any closer to finishing it than when he started. He doesn't feel satisfied by the progress he makes. He doesn't enjoy writing anymore. He's only working on it because he feels worse when he doesn't. He hasn't made any progress today. He will try again tomorrow. Everyone in the room is talking about the info scare. Most agree they do not understand Vanguard's explanation. The editor says a lot of people, like Citizen, had their identities permanently stolen. The owner says you can still be affected if you talk about it. No one knows how to protect themselves if it happens again. The sky outside is sky blue and empty. A few cars drive past on the street. A group of pedestrians have metal limbs and horns. Some of the people walking past stare at them. A man sits at a corner with a sign for telling the rapture. Edward is staring at the page on his screen. It is a different page with different words. He doesn't feel any closer to finishing it than when he started. He doesn't feel satisfied by the progress he makes. He doesn't enjoy writing anymore. He's only working on it because he feels worse when he doesn't. He hasn't made any progress today. He will try again tomorrow. Everyone in the room is talking. Most agree that things are going well. The editor is talking to Citizen and a fairy by the water cooler. The owner has eight eyes and is seven feet tall. Nobody bothers the Sasquatch kicking the printer. The sky outside the building is sky blue. A dragon is following a plane. A few cars drive past on the street. Some of the pedestrians are trees. A group of wizards jaywalk. Some of the people walking past stare at them. A man sits at a corner with a sign offering oracles. Edward is staring at the page on his screen. It is a different page with different words. He doesn't feel any closer to finishing it than when he started. He doesn't feel satisfied with the progress he makes. He doesn't enjoy writing anymore. He's only working on it because he feels worse when he doesn't. He hasn't made any progress today. He will try again tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dcimmerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who's pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday. I promise.